Hey everyone, we wanted to give you a quick tour of our Airstream that we live in full time. It is an Airstream 25FB Flying Cloud. We do have a queen size bed in here. The bed that came with the Airstream um, is an RV queen and we actually had some problems with mold and had to get rid of the mattress. So this is a new one. Um, it's a little bit bigger than a regular RV queen. We just haven't had the time yet to cut it down to the right size. But the original mattress that came with the Airstream was really comfortable. We were actually really surprised of how comfortable it was. Um, and I just want to point out a couple things in the bedroom that we really like. Well, first of all, we like the panoramic windows. These are closed now, but when we have some great views, it's really nice. When we're staying at a casino parking lot, we like to keep them closed when we don't have a great view. Um, there's really great reading lights. Um, Josh and I each have one on each of our sides of the bed. Um, we also have uh, our Hot Wheels up on the top. We had a huge Hot Wheels collection when we lived in our condo and we wanted to still keep some of them in our Airstream. So we have those velcroed up on the top so they don't go anywhere while we're driving. We also have over here in the corner on this wall, we have some of our hats on command hooks just to kind of keep them out of the cabinets. It's a great way to store them. Josh has his over on this side above our TV. Our TV does swivel out so we can see it nicely when we're watching TV in bed. Um, underneath the bed, there's a lot of storage. So we'll show that to you here. It just pops up. Kind of hard to see, but there's a ton of storage out there. The compartment in the back you can get to from outside. We also, there's not really a good place to keep your dirty laundry. So we just keep it right here. You don't really see it, but um, it's nice out of the way bed just pushes back down. There we go. Over here we have my closet. Uh, it's a really nice, great storage space. I have some more command hooks here for my jewelry to hang some necklaces and bracelets on just to keep them out of the way. We each have a drawer here and then a little more storage here. I have some shoes in there that I don't wear all the time. And then we each have a cabinet up here with our clothes, let's see whose is more organized. Here's Josh's. Oh, his is actually pretty organized today. And here's mine. We have a ton of clothes in here. We probably don't even wear most of these, so there's a lot more room in here than what we need for clothes. Let's check out Josh's closet. He has the bigger closet. Here we go. Um, his closet is the bigger one only because it was longer and his sweatshirts and things are longer So they got bunched up in the smaller one, but each closet is plenty of room for both of us. Then we have like our GoPro and Recording things all up stored up here Another thing we really like is this divider So that we can have separate spaces um, It's obviously doesn't keep the sound out, but it does help with lights and it just kind of gives us some privacy so I'm gonna close this and I'll see you in the bathroom. Hi, welcome to the bathroom. Uh, so we have on the door, we have some suction cups that we use for like our face cloths and stuff for showering. Uh, the bathroom, it's pretty small, but it's plenty of space. There's a ton of storage, a cabinet under here, some sliding cabinets here. Down below, more sliding cabinets. Mm -hmm. Close in easily. Uh, we have this shelf here to store more things. The only thing I don't like about this is that you see everything. So we don't, we try to keep it as organized as possible on this shelf. Uh, we have a mirror in here. The mirror does pop open. Ton more storage underneath the mirror. Uh, the lights, we only have the lights on a uh, half of them on right now because there's a lot of lights in here and it gets too bright with the mirror. We have our toilet. So we took out the original toilet that was in here and we have a compost toilet. We'll probably do another video in some more detail on the compost toilet, but we love it. It's so much better than dealing with the black tank and there's no smell. So we highly recommend compost toilet. We'll do another video, like I said, with more detail on the compost toilet later. But our bathroom, we've got a plenty of counter space in here, nice sink. Uh, there's a towel bar over here for our hand towel. We have more suction cups up there for our actual towels to leave them for drying. Um, but like I said, ton of storage in here. <laughs> and then we have the split bathroom. So across from the bathroom is the shower. Uh, 
Um, for me, there's plenty of space. For Josh, I mean, there's still enough space, but it's a little bit tighter for him. And it's a great place to store your dog food. All right, so that is our bedroom and our bathroom, and I'm gonna pass it off to Josh. He's gonna give you a tour of the kitchen and the living room. Well, hi everybody. Uh, Brittany did a fantastic job with the bedroom bathroom area, so let's see if I can compete with her skill set. Okay, so first things first is we have the refrigerator freezer here, which we really like. Um, maybe do you wanna swing around here and check it out? So we've got plenty of room in the freezer, plenty of room in the refrigerator. Um, we haven't had any problems with storing things. We usually don't have, oh, this shouldn't be in here. This is gonna explode. So anyways, um, plenty of room, love it. We One thing that we really like about the Airstream is the storage. And it doesn't have outside storage, which we were nervous about, but they really take use of every space possible. So even above here, a lot of places just would, you know, close it off and you wouldn't have anything that's it's only like five inches deep but it's it's something so there's storage there storage underneath there i really like i really like this here because i feel like it's like a secret compartment but it's just an access panel and they do put good access panel storage or like places for things you may have to work on we haven't yet but i still think it's neat um so now we're into the kitchen area we've got our three burner stove and oven, which we really, really like. We had to get a smaller pizza pan to fit in there, but we can do any frozen pizza pretty much. More storage for food. It's kind of a mess, but that's that's life. Plenty of storage for that. We've got one of these hanging things because you have to if you live in your Airstream because it just looks good. Um, little windows, we've got the solar, um, display unit, inverter button here, and then here's where we check our levels for black tank, fresh tank, battery, turn on our pump. This has got a light here, and it also has a fan to extract the air. This is where we keep our cereal and our dog food for Mowgli. Well, his soft food. And then this is, we keep water, drinking water usually. So this is our pantry. I really, really like this. I was worried about things bouncing out, but everything stays put really nicely. So that's a really great use of space. Um, oh, another one of those great little storage spots. So this is all my coffee things. This is all coffee stuff. But um, if I wouldn't have had that storage thing, I probably couldn't have coffee. We got drawers. Got cabinet space over here. Got the instant pot. You got to have that. Put that underneath the little garbage can so that's something we've adjusted to is not having a big garbage can but it's really been fine because usually we're throwing our garbage at walmart and it has to be little um <laughs> here's where oh how'd that feel um here's where mowgli sleeps he loves it so this actually is one of the spaces where you can sleep two people is what they call it this will pull out like this so you pull that out and then that cushion would drop down and it creates a space for two people here. And then you put that, whoop, there's Velcro that always holds me up here. There we go, so you put that back. Um, that sleeps two people and then this actually drops down and you put the cushions in and they say you can sleep another two people here. If everybody loves each other a bunch, you could sleep six, but more than likely you'd, you'd sleep like four very, very comfortably. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We've got storage up here. So this is kind of like our entertainment center stuff where we charge batteries, um, movies, a couple books. And then this is kind of like office type of stuff and also have uh, games and stuff. Um, more storage here. So that's where we keep some Mowgli stuff. I've got like my kind of junk drawer, our vacuum. Do we really like that Milwaukee vacuum? And then there's actually one more under here that we really like for kind of more of our, I don't know, hideaway type stuff. So it's not something somebody's really gonna see. Um, oh, more storage, go figure. So we've got our shoes in here. What else do we have up here? Sink. 
really nice and deep and it's actually like a, a thick sink and this is actually a Moen faucet I think so it's actually good quality it's not plastic um, what else yeah entry door oh we got this is like a, a car stereo so there's four speakers throughout the Airstream that you can do the zones and with it's got a subwoofer and everything and it's really um, actually a good sound system um, what else I don't know Oh, we use more of those suction cups for Mowgli's things. Um, so this is his harness. Panoramic windows out here too, so that's really nice. And you've got windows there and there, and actually these two. Little porthole windows for both of those. We've got a skylight up here. Um, here's our TV for out here. And we put a rug pretty much down First it was just this little rug down here, the Airstream rug, but then we decided we wanted to put uh, more rugs just because having a dog, it's it's still, you know, the floor is fairly durable, but it's softer and you just, you track in rocks and he's got claws, so we just put it down to kind of protect the floor um, and it keeps it, it does keep it cleaner. I think the last thing we have to talk about is the Fantastic Fans and they are pretty fantastic. Um, it's got a it's got three fan speeds a thermostat so you can kind of control what temperature you want it to turn on and off and a rain sensor so the lid will close if it's sensing rain um, ducted AC I don't think we talked about that at all which is nice because most AC units actually stick down and I would probably be real close to hitting my head so everything is pushed up into the ceiling and we have more control of where we want the cold air to be blowing or when the heat pump is on where the hot air is um, and the, the cushion here, I don't know if you've noticed this one's back further than this one. And that's the only, re the only reason is for that, is for Mowgli's comfort. Because he needs all the space that he can. So we took that back cushion that is behind there and we just tuck it over there. But other than that, I think that's just about everything for our tour. I hope you enjoyed it and we will catch you on the next video. We have my closet. What? It's not a fart, it's just the floor. It's just the floor. <laughs>